Hello everyone, my name is Trooper, and welcome back to a, another video. Today I'm showing you guys how to install a ESX server from scratch for your 5M. This is a long awaited tutorial and it's going to be the start of a new series. The series will be a bit spread apart so make sure you guys do subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you guys can stay tuned with this series. But this will see starting from scratch from setting up your 5M server to installing the necessary files for ESX. So if you have already got a server and want to convert it to ESX this probably isn't the video for you. But I will make one in the future videos to come, so make sure you guys do turn on the notification bell for that if you are looking for that. But if you're not, and this is the video you're here for, then what you guys are going to want to do is hit the first link down in the description below. That will bring you guys right here to the XAMP download page. It's going to be a database that EXS and QB Core, pretty much every single kind of job related career economy sort of server needs to run off. And all you guys are going to want to do is hit XAMP for Windows. It should automatically take you to a download page in a couple of seconds. If it doesn't, then you can click here to speed it up a little bit. And it will take you to the download page and just hit download the latest version. And then in a couple of seconds, your download should start. Once it's finished downloading, all you guys are going to want to do is just like a normal EXE is double click the EXE to start it on up. I'm going to pop up with a little yes and no prompt for your admin access. And then once you guys accept that, what you guys are going to want to do is pretty much, it's pretty simple to install. All you guys want to do is hit next and then hit next again and then select next again and then next and next. And then it will start installing it automatically all for you. It's pretty simple. And once this is finished installing, I'll cut back so we can carry on with the rest of the tutorial. So once it's finished installing, it's going to ask you if you want to start the control panel now. Make sure that's ticked and then click finish. If you wait a couple of seconds, the X AMP control panel should pop up like this. And all you guys are going to want to do is start up the MySQL and the Apache one right here. And then you can also configure it in here so everything will start up when you actually turn your PC on. It's really up to you if you want to see here auto start of modules. So you can select the ones you want to start up. If not, you can always come in here and toggle it on and off as you see fit. Just minimize that for now or close it. it should stay open in the background and now we can move on to actually creating our 5m server it's link down in the description below that being goes right here to the 5m build server windows master and then hit the latest recommended download button we'll start downloading your server files in a zip folder if you guys don't have a unzipper then make sure you guys install one of those first pretty much any unzipper works winrar winzip 7zip make sure you guys install one pretty much preference on which one you guys want to use. If you already have one, then that's great. And all you guys are going to want to do is open up your file explorer and navigate to where you want to place your 5M server. Usually I just put it in my documents folder. So we're going to put it in our documents folder and we're going to right click to create a new folder. And I'm going to call this one ESX server. It doesn't actually matter what you call it whatsoever. Open this on up. And then we're going to make another folder server and then inside of this folder is where we're going to put all of our server files so control a to select all of these and drag and drop them in like so and now all you guys are going to want to do is scroll down here until you find the fx server.exe double click on that to start it on up it should pop up with a little window like this and it may ask you to allow access to some things. And then once it's done that, it should automatically pop up with a local host command panel. And all you guys are going to want to do is should automatically link it with your autofill code with your server. If it doesn't, you can always come in to your server.exe and grab it from here. Click link account. Click continue. And now you guys need to create a password for your server. It doesn't really matter what your password is, as long as you guys can remember it. It's pretty much a backup password just in case something goes wrong. Click create master account. And now we're going to be setting up our server. So hit next. And then for your server name, all you guys are going to want to do is change this to literally whatever you guys want. So this is going to be ESX server. And hit next. And then this is where it's going to be actually installing our ESX. So we're going to go into our popular recipes, which is our recommended document type and then we're going to select the ESX legacy and then hit save and then go to recipe deployer this is going to be pretty much everything it installs and how it installs it from github you don't need to worry about this 
don't need to touch anything. So just hit next. And now it's going to ask for a license key. So we're going to have to go into Keymaster to do that. So hit Keymaster. And then it should automatically redirect you to Keymaster. Then you're going to sign in with your CFX.re account. If you guys haven't already got one, then make sure you guys do create one since pretty much everything runs off that. Hit new server. And then we're going to have to fill in all of our server details for display name. It really doesn't matter. So I'm going to call it the same thing. If it's not exactly the same, it won't make a difference. And then for your initial server.ip address, I will leave a link down in the description below, which will show you guys how to get your server IP address, which is going to be your IPv4 address. But basically, if you go into Google and you search, what is my IP? And you click the first link right here. And all you guys are going to want to do is copy and paste this IPv4 address right here. Copy and paste that into your initial server.ip. And then pick a server type. We're going to be doing a home hosted server. And the server provider, we're going to put home. And then I'm not a robot and generate your key. Once you guys have done that, we're going to copy the key and we're going to go back to our server deployer and we're going to paste it in to this little input parameter box here. We're going to click run recipe and it should automatically pretty much install everything that we need for you guys. It's pretty simple. It used to be a lot, lot harder to install ESX and it has made life way, way easier. So once this guys is finished installing, we can carry on with the rest of the tutorial. Now this is finished installing. All you guys are going to, want to do is hit next. And now it's going to pop up with your server.cfg. Now basically your server.cfg is kind of your settings file for your 5M server. So this is where you can change your name and pretty much every other setting to do with your 5M server. But don't worry about that too much. If you guys want to do a little bit of research in between this video and the next following video for this ESX tutorial, then feel free to do so. Feel free to mess around. There's not really a lot that can go wrong. All you guys need to do if you want to mess around with it and don't want to break your server, just copy this file so you always have a backup. And if you do do something wrong and it does break it, you can just paste it back in, change the name to your server.cfg, and everything will be hunky-dory and fine. So feel free to mess around with this if you want. You can change your server name. So we're going to just change this to ESX server right here. I'll change it to HT ESX server just for a little bit of customizability. And then obviously you can do the same thing here for your project name and your project description. It doesn't really matter. Go to save and run server, and it should pop up with your ESX server console. Now this is pretty much where you will run your server from. And when it comes to starting your server, scheduling your server, this is where everything will be based from. You can also edit your CFG in here if you guys want to. And obviously you can check for diagnostics. It's pretty self-explanatory. This menu is really, really user-friendly. So definitely take the time to look through this and figure out what's what. So you guys can kind of get the hang of it yourself. So not everything you're learning from a tutorial it will say outdated in the bottom hand corner here because we aren't running the latest TX admin, but that is not actually that necessary. And I will show you guys how to update that in a upcoming video. So yet again, all the reason to hit that notification bell. And obviously you guys are going to want to connect to this server. And the first person to connect, as long as you guys have your Steam open or you are logged in to your CFX.REO account will become the admin for that. So if you guys start up your 5M server, start up your 5M even. But now you guys are in your 5M menu. All you guys are going to want to do is it should pop up underneath play, connect to, and then the name of your PC, and then on LAN, which basically means through your Wi-Fi, since it isn't port forwarded at the moment, and it kind of just detects it is a home host server. So just tip, click that, and it should automatically start up your server with a really, really fancy little loading screen. You should be able to see that everything works really, really well. And in the next video, I'm going to go through all of this and show you guys how to work everything, how to modify it, how to change and customize it to what you guys want. I'd recommend sticking around because my explanation is a little bit more simple and it kind of just a little bit more detailed and simplified for you guys to follow along. Once you guys load into your 5M server, feel free to have a look around. And once you guys have had a look around your 5M server, if you guys did want to stop and start your 5M server whenever you guys wanted, all you guys need to do is go back to your documents and look for where you installed your 5M server. And then to start and stop it, all you guys want to do is double click and close this startup.exe right here. So once that's running, it should automatically pop up with your command TX admin page on the internet, unless you guys already have it open like me. And then when you guys want to shut it down completely, and then you just hit the close button right here, 
and then do it again, rinse and repeat. That's pretty much how you turn your server on and off completely. Otherwise you do it through your TX admin console. But other than that, I hope you guys did find this video useful. If you did, please be sure to like, comment and subscribe. Comment down below what video you guys want to see next. And if there are any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. I will try and read them and help them and reply to you guys. But sometimes there are too many comments on my other videos or too many comments in general just on that one video for me to actually respond to. So be sure to check out 5M official Discord server where they do offer some really, really good 5M support if you do have a few issues. I'll leave those down in the description below if I do remember. If not, literally just Google them and they should be the first thing to pop up. So other than that, thank you guys so, so much for watching this video and I'll see all you guys in the next one. Cheers and goodbye.